Robin of Loxley survived the burning sands of faraway lands as he served his role in the unforgiving Crusades. He emerged unscathed from deadly skirmishes just to become an exile and face mightier enemies in his own home country. After his previous hideout in Silwich, which was razed to the ground, the forests of Sherwood granted refuge to him and his retinue, while its new rulers threatened all. King Richard the Lionheart's untimely demise plunged England into chaos and left roving bands and their petty warlords free to fight amongst themselves for territory and influence. The Sheriff of Nottingham, a murderer and usurper, exploiting the pervasive lawlessness, pillages one area after another, increasing his power and leaving the poor residents of Sherwood at the mercy of wild fate. I always worry when you're away from home for long, Robin. My good friar, the sheriff will face death well before I do. Haughty as always, I'm just glad to see you in good health, friend. Don't worry, we're not in danger this time. We're safe here. Nothing I can do after the nightmare that the Crown's men brought on us and our old home. This time they won't run into us. We're well hidden. I saw to that. The previous settlement was so goodly. I know you all too well, you crafty... What matters is everyone made it out alive. After I defeated Black Henry and freed Marion, the sheriff completely lost his composure. I must stop the enemy before he becomes too powerful. The enemies! The king and sheriff don't stop at their own henchmen! You constantly hear about ever more scoundrels plaguing the surroundings of Nottingham. King's allies grow in numbers. Some are bought with land assignment, others threatened with death and confiscations. We must weaken the grip of the King and the Sheriff if we are to feel safe here. Definitely, Robin. Recently, Little John had his shirt cut. We can't take risks like that. He'll recover. You know him. We each have our crosses to bear. You say so yourself. Well said. You may be right. This settlement seems secure. This time no one will find us. Time to let an arrow loose right into the beast's heart. I believe you, dear Robin, but before you do that, you must regain your strength. Setting up a new village is exhausting work. Eat something, have a drink, rest in your home. We'll talk later. How's your day, sir?
Have you already managed to get some rest? Good friend, it'll never cease to amaze me how little sleep you need. This can't be healthy. It's good for you, as long as you have water instead of wine, good friar. I'm not swayed by this. Besides, those who sleep don't sit. <laughs> I knew how you'd react. Take it easy, Tuck. Your cask supplies safe. I should think so. It's a strategic reserve for a time of crisis. Certainly. Not another word. I take it you slept so well, you misplaced your weapon. Where is your bow? This time I didn't lose anything. I broke it during a hunt. We've had so much work with building a new village that I haven't had time to craft a new one yet. The forest hasn't been kind to us of late. The worst is behind us, however. And now you can take to making your bow in peace. Grab a hatchet and fell a few trees. That's all the help I need. Thank you, Tuck. I know how much you value your weapon. See to crafting it, but be right back. Our village...
With a bow like this, you have nothing to fear. Unless you get on Marion's bad side again by telling her to cook for you, even the purest steel and holy water wouldn't help you then. Time's long past. We've explained things to each other and agreed I wouldn't make this mistake again. <laughs> uh, speaking of... Be at ease. That sounds like her. You said you could use my help. Yes, there are many things we need. Food, a better... I'll gladly try out the new bow. Everyone in the...